is a fair fight. Yomu is a bit annoying, but you can deal with her. Natori sucks for at two. I was confident I had spell cards. I had decent health. Wah, whatever. Okay. My knives sharp express. All right. In that case, then bum rush and elite. Like last time. It. I've done the same run. This is four times in a row now, and that if that's the def uh, that ain't the definition of madness. I don't know what is, but oh, I'm trying. Oh, I am certainly trying right now, as hard as I can. Uh, let's save myself two damage. Even though this Fidama has one more health, those eight versus six damage. I'd rather get you killed. I mean, it'd be really funny. Yeah, I'm going to kill this Tidama anyway. With, uh, space with the one knife. So, sharp knife express. And then die, die, die. More knives, love to see. For a sharp knife express. Oh, damage to be pushed. Just take none, so they don't really care about doing much with you birds anyway to begin with. 13. So, I didn't draw any defense on that, unfortunately, there. I couldn't kill you, so that's another round of damage I'm taking on the chin, no matter what. It's fine, though. The fact that that was a dead turn means if you're gonna attack me on the cycle, I could always draw no defense. And guess what? I drew no defense. But I did draw enough damage to kill you, so I will take that. Stone stacking early is good. Hmm. So, as always, I love Kinkakuji and I autopilot on it, but let's think about my choices here. If I get the wider, I am a knife build. Granted, I'm building for sharp knife it's press, but that can be a good push for damage either way. Let's try the wider this time, alright? Let's try the wider and go and have to fight an elite either way if I want to go to the shop. Let's go to a gap in that case then. And upgrade my watch trickers and that way I have a monstrous amount of damage potential. Then event me. Zibit is robot. I'll take nothing there. It's unfortunate to get a dead level on that end, but I don't want to have junk in my deck ever at all if I can help it. Watch has to be done. Toss the knife out. So that's going to be 8 damage from there then. I mean, you're dead. So, well worth it, well worth it to be able to kill you, because then I'm, I just only have to worry about this doll. From now on. Go ahead, play it slowly but surely. That way I take no extra damage potentially. She's gonna poison me this turn, but I'm mitigating what I can here, guys. Mitigating what I can here. It's no difference if I play the knife or just the attack there, I just can't kill her. I have to take that damage on the chin. And then my wife's recursions once again goes out. I do like that heart itself sauce so much. I can also just go with room cleaning. It's a little bit of psycho and being able to upgrade everything else is real nice too. Plus it feeds right into elegant maid. Being able to just get rid of cards I don't need. So I can just keep getting to I really, really do like it. Now, the question is 25 health versus an elite? Then I can just get with the Tronis afterwards. Yeah, let's do that. Rest up, get to an elite. Three fairies of light. With the Luna pattern. Okay. Kill Luna. So they don't get the defense. 
they'd start, and then these knives here will just autopilot on Sunny because he's in front. So, five damage taken. Not the worst ever, and I did. I really did burn my spell card. Anyways, though, I can take no damage otherwise here. Knives will continue to deal my solid amount, and I just have to worry about Star's attack pattern. Never seen this game before, but wanted to pop in. Well, thank you for popping on in, alright? But you're just chilling here, and that's all that I, I can ask for, so thank you for the extra love. But yeah, like, I'm I'm surprised that I've never seen this card otherwise, because it scales really well. It helps you thin your debt for small cards that I choose that you don't need, or get rid of bad cards. Well, like, yeah, right there. That's, uh, that's, uh, that Burning Sunlight that I wouldn't want to take effect anyway. It's just an amazing card in general. Sewing Machine, great for the future, potentially. These are all attacks from Sculpture Circle. I don't really have a reason for Deja Vu to line here. Death Doodle Bio is, of course, always nice, too. It's another alternate win condition, but do I need it? I don't necessarily think so. So we're just gonna chill here. Spoon? Not needed. Give me the glasses. And then, same same idea as before. Event? Mike? Give me a rare. Time walk. Ooh. That is very, very spicy. Yeah, uh, just, just burn the initial turn because I don't have a block. Now this is way better. Yeah, if you've never seen this game before, this is Toho Lost Brains of Legend, and it is basically Toho Slay the Spire, uh, meets Slay the Spire. Toho Project meets Slay the Spire. It is wonderful, it is very expansive, it's deeper than Slay the Spire, and just an all-around amazing game. Alright, taking five damage here. No, I say deeper. That that can definitely be for up, uh, up to debate. And I played a whole lot of Saint Spire too, so I can sweeten my own end on that end. But no, like like uh, this game is still just as wonderful, and it's you know it's got a lot of depth to it. Water blanket. I'll take that. There's a lot you can do with Toho Road Rides. I mean, there is very much so a lot you can do with just the Toho IP in general, of course. Canned food, I think, will be good. Devour history to remove something from my dad for 80. Eh, not necessary. This card, any cards drawn this way with a total cost greater than one. Reaching the creature could also be good too. 82 plus 52. I do not have enough money for both of those. I think I'll take the life though, first and foremost, and then I will try to take the order cycle. Just because it's upgraded, it's draw, and that's just really good in general. I don't have any money otherwise, though, for anything else. I can't upgrade or remove. That's fine. I'm probably going to rest anyway here. Kadamas. I'm fighting these absolute jerks every single time. Alright, well, I drew all attacks. I drew no defense, so... I'm going to have to carry on with this. Okay, all things considered here. Stone stacking absolutely pops off for me here. Because that gets me enough block for this turn one, and then I can start working down these Kadamas slowly but surely. And block for 11. And still not kill any of you. I think that's what I'll do versus. Well, I'm gonna take damage on the chin either way. That is, I think that's the better IQ play. Now, the question is, am I saving my killing doll way too long here? I definitely think I could be. But I'm gonna let the knives do their work. Begin with here. I'm gonna hope I can take. I didn't, I will be honest, I wasn't looking up at you. I thought you were going to die. So, uh, my own bad. Alright, I will just burn Killing Doll at this rate. Yeah, I'm taking too much damage for my own good. You're dead. Yeah, 
you're dead. And then everything else will just wash over otherwise. Okay. I didn't want to once again burn my towing doll, but whenever I roll Kadamas from my last regular fight, this really, really sucks. The only damage with misdirection. I still have one of mana left over, so you could almost be dead. But it's fine, it's fine. Watch me. I can't play <laughs> my nice express, unfortunately, here, but it's fine. It would be funny to just see how much damage it would do, but I have nothing really to pay off for it. Let's get rid of everything here. Ooh, I do like guard up. Give me that. Hmm. Four knives could be decent. All my defensive stuff is still good. I don't necessarily need the two knives from Bouncy Knives. I think I'd rather just have the health. And go once again. Because 40 is always... 40 health is always the bed smart for when you're fighting Marissa. Because Vassar's probably going to deal 40 on her first rotation. So as long as you can keep your health past that, then that's really what matters. Oh, there's so many service firewalls. They all have their own things to make them feel unique. Boss Fence of Legend has a unique... Atmosphere and music? Yeah! Plus, man and card-based gameplay is really cool. Yeah! The thing, like, once again, like, uh, one YouTube video that I've always wanted to do is... is a video on why you should play, uh, Toho Lost Rants of Legend. And the one thing I've always wanted to talk about with that is how... And this is, of course, not a knock on Soy the Spy at all, because I've put so many hours into Soy the Spy, and I love that game so much too. But Watch Prince of Legends, you know, like, gets to naturally expand a lot of mechanics that Soy the Spy doesn't do. In base game, once again, this is of course base game Soy the Spy that we're talking about when this argument is here. But, like, let's talk about, like, yeah, Ironclad. Barricade is a thing there. We also have Barricade, uh, the Barricade equivalent in Watch Prince of Legend. But there's also, uh, it's a space too. We also have... <laughs> we also have Barrier as an innate mechanic. There's a, there's the additional Graze mechanic for dodge in general itself as well. Being a cool, effective way to... Do I think my death that way it's better, or do I just take the 5 on the chain? Can I take the damage on the chain? Nah, just, just, just get rid of the debuff. Yeah, it has Graze as well, so there's an extra defensive mechanic alongside Accuracy being an extra... Uh, being an extra... just mechanic in general as well. So two keywords that allow cards to be a little bit more varied. We have different ways of... like uh, the, the fact that characters have two different decks. So, for example, Red Reimu is more of just kind of like regular firepower iron card versus Yellow Reimu, which makes you want to gear yourself more towards that barricade kind of style deck already itself too, is just as cool in my opinion. And then, yeah, things like the mana mechanic being a little bit more because, yeah, you just work on your binary 1 to 3 mana scale in Sorry the Spire versus what is going to be the consistency of you have to play around the different mana types, the cards have to be built a lot that ways. Um, what else am I trying to say here? The next cooler thing that I also really love out of Watch Rants of Legend is how after each boss fight, let's compare the energy relics from the two games is really my point here. Also, I am absolutely dying here. I wish I could get my natural curse so I can just say die, Marissa, because... <laughs> I'm going to die. I didn't get to anything here, dude. Ah! The fact that when I had to block with water blanket, it drew my knives, uh, it drew recursions, and then I couldn't get to nice express hurts my soul. Wait, no, I was about to say, it, it's not, I was about to say, it's doing 40 damage. I have 41 health. Oh uh, no, that's the second time, so that's 45 damage. No! But getting back to that, uh, the fact that if you do beat a boss, it is always guaranteed you are getting a mana and a positive. Whereas for Sorry, the Spire, and for a cool balance reason, you can get mana, but then get a negative. So like Fusion Hammer, Sozu, etc. You're losing your ability to rest, to smith, 
to draw potions, uh, to use potions and get new potions, anything like that or so. That's cool, and that's a cool way to restrict the player, but I like how To goes the opposite direction of enhancing the player's decisions. Alright, let us go another Satya run. That was a close fight, but it just didn't come out to it, which just really hurts.